Greetings and salutations, everyone. It's Adrian here. Welcome to another late night live sale this Friday, July 2nd, 2021, 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Hi, everyone. Well, I love that everyone's already saying hi in the chat. We have Sharon, Bryn. Hi, Bryn. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Angela. Uh, oh, there is also Eddie, Laura. Hi, Laura. How's everyone doing today? Olga. How's everyone doing tonight? Did everyone have a good? Oh my gosh, can you just like tell time to stop going by so fast? Because I feel like this week has just gone by. It was like a whirlwind. It was nuts, right? Hi, Laura. How's everyone doing tonight? Did anyone uh, do anything exciting today? Did anyone go thrifting? Does anyone have anything exciting planned for the weekend? What's everyone doing this um, 4th of July? Do you guys have any barbecues? Uh, going to any like pool parties? Hi, Claire. Jessica, Supernatural fan. Hello. Hi, Candy. Lisa. Isa, how how are you? Did you find anything cool? Did, okay, first of all, hi, Anne. Hi, Anne. Hi, DG House. RJ. Hi, Pamela. I'm already finishing all my water. How's everyone doing? Hi, Tara. Ooh, Six Flags next Friday. Gonna thrift nearby, too. Hoping to find some stuff. I hope you find some amazing stuff, Isao. And Six Flags sounds super fun, except I am, like, not a fan of uh, <laughs> uh, any, like, upside-down roller coasters. So, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Angie. Saima. C. De Leon. Uh, on the Hunt. IRL. Oh. Hi, Alicia from Clubhouse. How's it going? Ooh, okay, wait, hold on. There's, um, okay, I have a couple reselling friends here. So you guys, um, if you guys have been to the sale before, you know, already know East South, East South's here, and so is Anne. And um, we have our new friend here, who is Alicia, on the hunt, on underscore IRL. Um, if you guys would like to, please leave your Instagram handles, and everyone can follow you and check out your Poshmarks or Mercari's or whatever that you guys have linked. If anyone wants to um, leave their info. Hi, Pepper. Oh, Claire, yes. Happy the work week is over for you too. Pepper is from the Philippines, been watching. Oh, thank you so much, Pepper, and welcome to the live sale. This must be your first time here. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We appreciate you. Everyone here is super nice and we all just like have a super fun time. Um, in these live sales. Angela's headed out to look for rocks. <gasps> Ooh, Angela. Okay, uh, I am also an avid rock collector. I love like regular crystals, but I love like whenever our, my family or I like travel anywhere, I like to bring back like a cool rock or something. I know it's like weird, but I have like a little collection of rocks that I know where they're all from. And I think I get it from my dad because he also does the same thing. Hi, Lourdes. Hi, The Real Real Housewife. There's Nina. Hi, Nina. Oh, Laura, on Saturday, going to SeaWorld. Sunday, renting a water slide. <gasps> how exciting. And Monday's your birthday. Oh, and mom's cooking. Oh, my gosh. How exciting. Javier's. Oh, my goodness. Jeez, Louise, that sounds like a super fun time. Um, oh, okay, um, on the hunt right there. Alicia, she left her info. So you can follow her on Instagram. It looks like that's also the same name she has on Poshmark. Um, Esau also left his info right there as well. So go check it out. <laughs> RJ Hen, what bags do you have today? Uh, <laughs> I have some good ones, you guys. I'm really, really excited about it. And uh, I'm just going to give like a couple more sec, like maybe like another minute to let more people into the room. Um, but oh, anyone want to share any of the thrift finds from this week? Let me know. Send me some photos on Instagram so I can share it with the rest of the class. Oh, Dijon, season the flavor. How's it going? Would you like to plug your Instagram or your um, Depop shop or, pay or um, Poshmark store or anything? Just leave your info and people can follow you on Instagram. Just let them know, like, put, like, um, put Instagram and then, like, what your name is so people know where to look. So that way they can um, find you and shop your closets or whatever um, stores you may have. Oh, Jean, I'm so sorry to hear that. 
Ooh, Jessica, supernatural fan. I love being with Kelsey bags. I feel like a little they're a little bit underrated sometimes, but the people that love them love them, and the leathers are so soft, and the bags are so beautiful. <sighs> okay, I'm already out of breath. <laughs> Five minutes in. Um, Alicia looks like she's got some Manolo Blahnik heels and an estate sale first time finding this designer. <gasps> Congratulations, that's amazing. Um, Issa, I actually sold most of my inventory already tonight. I'm shook and just that Michael Kors that you saw earlier on my story. <gasps> Congratulations, Issa, that's awesome. It's, it's, always, it's always a great feeling to just like sell out of everything that you have. But then you're just like, oh my gosh, I have nothing left. I have to go shopping, which is also like not that bad of a feeling because going shopping is always super fun. Um, Lisa, new APLs for $10. Wow. Oh, okay. Jo Joanne, Joanne Halcon, um, check out Thriftalista on Mercari so you guys can check out what she has. Looks like she has some purses. And then Dijon also left. Uh, their Poshmark right there, as well as their Instagram. Oh, there's also Mel. You guys have known Mel. You guys were here at the last sale. Mel, hi. Mel, leave your info so everyone can follow you. Her um, her Instagram is Hall of Wonders, and she also has a website. And let me just tell you, her stuff is amazing, and her photography is like, like all her photos look like they're from some sort of ad campaign. So they're beautiful. Oh my gosh, Stephanie! Stephanie, you're here too. Oh my gosh, why is everyone here? Stephanie, okay, Stephanie, leave your info too. You guys, Stephanie also has an amazing shop. You guys have to check her out. I think her at on Instagram is denim and then some, but she will leave her info on there so you guys can go, go check out her stuff. She has amazing pieces. She's also the queen of denim. So if you're looking for any denim, she probably has it. There you go. She left her info right there. <gasps> Nina! Oh, okay, also Nina left her um, info right there. Nina's fave deals on IG. Go check her out. And Nina received my Zedig and Voltaire bag. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, Nina. I'm so happy that you like the bag. <laughs> Stephanie, you're so nice. Oh, uh, there's Simon says, Mel, your pictures are beautiful. And I completely agree. Mel, your photos are amazing. Okay. Um, if anyone else also wants to leave like their info, just leave it here in the live chat. And um I'll make sure to let everyone know that you left it. Uh, Eclair, I found three new colors in melatonin leather cream. Oh, that's awesome. I've always wanted to try that leather cream. Let me know how it is. Oh, thank you so much, Anne. Anne's here again to you guys. Don't forget to check out Anne's shop and leave your info too. Oh, and then BB's here too. BB's Brown, BB, BB Brown's Doll Haul. Go check her out. Oh my gosh, Steve, there you go, Mel. Sharon loves your photos too. Valerie, hi, Valerie. Your thrift stores are way better than ours in Canada. Oh my gosh, but Canada's so beautiful. I've been to only two places in Canada. I think I said this last time, but Niagara and uh, Victoria, and they were so much fun. <gasps> Laura, I'm so glad those shoes fit you. I was like, oh my gosh, I hope those shoes fit. So I'm so happy that they fit you. Okay, that is awesome. I was just like, Ugh. So, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. If you if you guys like ever post any photos too of any of the items that you buy in your Instagram, please tag me because I want to see them um, being used and at their new homes. Hi, Lindsay. Okay, you guys, I think we're going to start. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like so chatty Kathy tonight. We're already like almost 10 minutes in and I'm still talking about nothing in particular. Oh, The Real Housewife, I will tell my mom said hi. Oh, The Real Real Housewife, she also has um, a YouTube channel. So you guys have to follow her as well. Nina sells on eBay as Eiffel Life. So go follow her on eBay. Check out her eBay store. Sharon. Oh, Sharon, yay! I'm so glad you got your bags. And Vadrian is literally the best. The wrapping is chef's kisses. So, so good. Did you hear that, Vadrian? Sharon loves your wrapping. Vadrian says, thank you. Okay, so let's get started. Let me just give you guys the rules just in case you guys are new to the live sales. First of all, welcome. I'm so happy to have you guys here. Thank you guys for joining us tonight. Um, in the live sales, I show you guys the items. I assign a number to each item, and I'll put the price. I'll leave it here in the live chat. And if you like anything, just comment mine. If more than one person comments mine and would like the item, and everyone is willing to do so, we can go into a bidding war and go in increments of a dollar, five dollars, or ten dollars, and 
if you win an item, please just send me either an email or a DM on Instagram. I have it all linked right there. I have it pinned at the very top. You can email me or uh, send me a DM and let me know in the live chat where you send your info to. Just send me your email address and I will send you that invoice. If you could play, if you could pay as quickly as possible or before the live ends, that would be perfect. And yeah, I think that's it. So let's get started. Oh, let me get the gavel. So I always forget. Okay, got the gavel. It's right here. Okay, uh, what is our first item? What should we do first? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna show you guys first? Um, Let's start off with something cool. Okay, let's start off with this first. So our first item of the evening. Um, oh, hold on, hold on. See, Deleon. Well, I'm selling coach. Selling page. Uh... Oh, okay. See, Deleon also left their eBay um, info. It's Blossom's Room on eBay. And the we will have such as I auction handbags, clothing, jewelry, household shoes, vintage on YouTube. So sub be please. Yes, so everyone, please follow the Real Real Housewife as well. Akuna Lisa, hi, Aku oh, hi Lisa and Mel. Yeah, the gavel is very important. We can't close the sale without the gavel. Um, tape. Oh my gosh, the tape measure. Well, hold on. Let me grab the tape measure. Uno momento, por favor. I don't know why I always like move the cam, like the laptop screen as if like <laughs> it was like far behind okay ah uh, um koi koi pond hiya how are you i returned a bunch of clothing and she's about during the pandemic oh, it's fresh and ever turning down oh my goodness koi pond you're trying to be a minimalist but I, if i do find out oh thank you koi pond and you are amazing for um trying to become a minimalist because that is something that I don't think I could ever do. So, <laughs> oh, Rachel, cute Cal, uh, cute Cal gal is here as well. Hi, Rachel. Thrifting estate jewelry, love it. Okay, sorry guys. Our first item of the, of the day or of the night is this Givenchy. This is a Pandora in the mini size and it is in this beautiful cobalt blue color. And this was actually repainted so this is an authentic piece but repainted this beautiful cobalt blue because i do not believe that Givenchy ever did this colorway in the mini pandora but it is beautiful it um was done very well it wasn't done by me it was uh by the original owner of the bag but i looked through it and it looks fantastic and they did an exceptional job here is the interior it used to be black as you can see from the interior there's a little serial number underneath and then we have one interior zipper pocket and then another little front pocket right here. This is one of my favorite handbag styles from Givenchy. I actually have my very, I actually have two of these in the same exact size. And I also do have the large as well. And it is just a beautiful, amazing functional bag. The, especially these mini ones, they hold a ton. They're not the biggest bag, but they're just so like soft and pliable and they will hold so much stuff. And again, also the color of this is amazing. Um, I couldn't have picked a better color. I do love cobalt blue. The lambskin is so soft, Angela. It is beautiful and in wonderful, wonderful, wonderful condition. It literally looks almost brand new. And again, like I said, the paint job they did on this was spectacular. I couldn't have done a better job myself. So I'm very, very excited about how awesome this bag is. So this is um, our first item of the evening is going to be this... Uh, Whoops, let me start typing in here. So this is our mini Givenchy Pandora bag blue. And for this one, we're asking, we're asking 400 for this guy tonight. And oh, hi, Anne. You came right on time. Welcome to the live sale. It just in time for our first item of the night, the mini Givenchy Pandora in blue. So, so pretty. There we go. One last look before we go on to our next item. <sighs> right, Anne? It's so cute. All right. What do we have next? Uh, let's see. Ooh, let's do something else blue. So I have this amazing, uh, this is a Zach by Zach Posen um, 
I always forget the name of the style, but it's a Zach Posen satchel. It's in this beautiful blue color. So we're doing blues right now, blue and blue. This is also in a beautiful, like bright blue. It's so cute. Uh, it has a little mark right here that I forgot to take off. Hold on, let me make sure that I can get this mark off before um, anything else. It had like a little, oh, I didn't even show you guys. I should show you, so. Um, I was trying to clean it off. So there's that white mark right there. Do you guys see that? So I'm using my, we're gonna drop a little bit of cleaning info right now. So if you guys are ever at Walmart or Target, get this Kiwi quick dry shoe cleaner. It is literally one of my favorite cleaners and it does such a good job cleaning leathers. Um, you can't use it for everything. Like you can't use it for suede or untreated leathers or new book or anything, but almost all other leathers you can use it on. And it is pretty good. Hi, Adrian. Oh, hi, Linda. Welcome to the live sale. And Debbie, isn't it such a cute color? Hold on. It's coming off really slowly. I know I can get it off, but it's just going to take a little bit of elbow grease. It's already a lot lighter. Let me show you guys. I need to still do like a live cleaning video. Like I want to do like a live handbag tutorial of some sorts of like cleaning or like dyeing or painting. I think would be really fun. But look how much lighter it already got. Like... I know I can get it out now that like, I try doing it, so I'm just gonna clean it off later, but the mark will be completely gone if anyone purchases this. Um, but here we go. The bag um, has this re these really beautiful like eyelets that go all around the top flap and are on the bottom of the bag as well, and also around the perimeter of the top and the sides. Um, the name of the cleaner is the Kiwi Quick Dry Sneaker Cleaner, if you guys want to grab or do a screen grab of this. I also, I don't know if I have it down below in the description box. I don't think I do. But um, it's, actually, let me type it out for you guys. It's the Kiwi Quick Dry Shoe, oh, Sneaker Cleaner. Ooh, Clarice, the Eartha, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm addicted to thrifting. Oh, hi, Ruben. Ruben's also addicted to thrifting, just like me. That's, yes. I'd be in, uh, yay, okay, yeah, I think I will definitely try to do a cleaning video, like a live one. I think that would be super duper fun. Um, do you think that goes good on nap leather? And that is one of those leathers, leathers that is really, really um, soft and delicate. And when it comes to those leathers, I don't like to use anything like that because it might discolor the leather. You might wanna just try um, a nice, cleanser conditioner my favorite is the cadillac boot and shoe leather lotion i have that link down below in the description box um or you can also use angelus uh has a really nice foaming cleanser like a quick dry foaming cleanser that's also really really good on um more delicate leathers and i would also suggest that one um okay okay let's see brand i bought two of those cans so you can clean my handbags Oh, that's awesome, Brynn. Let me know how it is. Hi, oh, hi, Mama Miss Lang. How are you? How's your um your orange Mark Michael Kors? I, I it was so cute when you posted it on Instagram. That was so fun. So thank you for that. Okay, so the interior of the bag is in fantastic condition. Um, other than that little mark that was on the back, that I will definitely get out before this bag goes out if anyone buys it. But um. Let me show you the bag one more time. Here we go. Has a top handle, has the crossbody strap, which is removable but not adjustable. And this is gonna be item number two of the evening. So this is gonna be the uh, Zach Frozen Eartha bag in blue. And how much are we asking for this one, Adrian? Okay, we're asking $95 for the Zach Posen Eartha bag. Oh, Cynthia. Hi, Cynthia. RJ, I do have some coach. Um, I'll show you guys that in a little bit. And I also have, like, some Dooney and Burke. I have Kate Spade. Um, I have... Oh, Zan! Or Zan! Anne! Called the Zach Posen for $95. Congratulations, Anne, our first sale of the evening. Yay! Zach Posen. 
That color of the bag is so beautiful. I love it so, so much. So congratulations. And on that beautiful bag, just let me know if you send an email or a DM. I think we have your info, but just in case Adrian can't find it, if you could just send it again, that would be perfect. What's the light blue behind you? By the way, your late night show is, oh, thank you so much, Cynthia. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Well, I guess we can do this one since we're doing blue things. What if I did like everything by color? That would be so funny. Oh, um, Mel, my nearest mom was a born royal professor. Oh my gosh, it's so crazy, Stephanie. What a small world. I'm like trying to like read your guys' like conversation. <laughs> okay, um, the light blue bag. This is actually the Hermes bag that I had in the title of the video. This is an Hermes. Um, I already forgot the name. Hold on one second. I have to like look at the, oh, it's the Depeche briefcase in, with Palladium hardware. It does come with authentication certificates as well. I actually got it authenticated twice just to make sure that this is an authentic Hermes piece, but it is a beautiful, uh, it's the Depeche briefcase. So it's like a Kelly style, but it's a little bit larger and a little bit um thinner as well, but it does open up once there's stuff inside. Um, it is beautiful. It's made of Epsom leather in this beautiful like sky blue color. The hardware is so beautiful. Do you like the guest bag? Because I love them. RJ, oh my gosh. When I was younger, my sister was like all about guest bags. I remember like all, all my friends had like guest bags. Thank you, Marvin. Oh, Pamela, I'm so glad you like the bag. Um, but yeah, so this one is available for um, $3,000 if anyone is interested. It does have a little bit of wear right there. I was going to... Oh, Michelle called number one. Congratulations, Michelle, on the beautiful Givenchy bag. It is a stunner. You're going to love it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's see. That guest store was our spot. Oh my gosh, I haven't been to the Block of Orange in so long. The guest store that we used to go to was the one in Brea Mall. I don't know if you know that one in Brea, but that guest store, like my friends and I would like literally go there like on weekends. It was so fun. But oh, actually, funny story, my friends, um, well, I guess he's also my friend, but like at the time it was her boyfriend. Her, his dad was like the vice president of one of the branches of guests. Isn't that crazy? So it was nuts. So um, he would always give us like discounts and stuff on all the clothes. But that was a long time ago. I wonder if his dad still does that. I don't even know. But um, so this is going to be item number one number, everyone. Item number three is the Hermes Depeche briefcase. So that's Hermes Depeche briefcase for 3000 if anyone is interested. Mm, RJ, you know what? The vintage uh, Juicy Couture bags, like the leather ones, were so well made and such great quality. Um, it's really like the newer, like when they started doing those velour bags, those were like a mess. I used to work in a department store that sold them and people would always be returning them because they would tear, they faded intensely. Like they were just like not the bee's knees. Oh my goodness, Jessica Garcia is here. Miss Enchilada herself is gracing us with their presence tonight. You guys have to check out Jessica if you guys are in or around the Fresno area here in California. She makes the most delicious enchiladas ever. And you guys have to give her a follow. So Miss Enchilada is here. Jessica, leave your info for your Instagram. And I think you said you have a Facebook page as well so that people can go check you out and check out your enchiladas because they are so Yummy, you guys. You guys have to go check her out. She's the best. Okay, next item uh, for tonight. Oh, okay, this one isn't new because I showed this to you guys last time, but I still do have this really cute Fendi spy bag, the mini one available. And this is in like that off-white kind of like chalk color. And it has the ombre handles that go from a gray that goes down all the way to a chalk white. So, so beautiful. I love this bag so much. It's definitely a vintage one, but still looks fantastic. There's very minimal wear. There's a little bit of like rubbing right there and a little bit like on the corners, but nothing 
to major. The lambskin is still so soft and supple and gorgeous. The interior lining is in fantastic condition. No rips, stairs, stains, or smells at all. There is just one interior little pocket right here where I actually have all of the info for the Fendi along with the original tags and everything from its original purchase from Bloomingdale's. This bag retailed for $1,300. Dollars and still has a little Bloomingdale sticker on the back as well. And here is the little Fendi card on it, giving me it's so fetch. Oh my gosh, you're giving me the Mean Girls vibes. I love it. Hi, Jessica. <laughs> it's calling your name, Jessica. Oh my gosh, it's so funny, Sharon. <laughs> but here we go. It's oh, I also want to show you guys the little details that have like the little Fendi spelled out. Like, I think that's so cute. It's, like, metal, and it has, like, that cool Fendi kind of, like, script writing. Adorable. This is such a cool, unique piece, too. They don't have very many of these little mini um, spy bags. So this is a pretty rare find. Plus, this color is, like, exquisite, and it's the one that definitely goes throughout the whole year. You can carry this the whole year, and it's going to look fantastic. So here we go. This is going to be item number, I think it's number four or five. Four. Okay, so how much was this one, Vaderine? I don't remember. Okay, so this one is item number four, Fendi Mini Spy Bag. And this one is how much again, Vaderine? I already forgot. You already just told me. $350. <laughs> okay, $350, but let's do... Okay, Jessica, if you get it, I'm going to give you a $25 discount, $325. So $325 for the Fendi Mini Spy Bag. <sighs> item number four. Okay, what do we have? Next. Oh, let's do this one. <gasps> this one is so cute. Okay. I love this bag so, so much. Um, this is going to be item number five for the evening. And this is a All Saints bag. I feel like I haven't thrifted one in a hot second, but this one is so, so cute. It kind of reminds me of the Loewe Flamenco bag, if you guys are familiar. Looks very similar to this, but it's more of a square. This is a little bit taller of a rectangular rectangle. Can't talk anymore. Rectangle. And it has these super fun tassels on the sides, giving it fun movement. Definitely uh, like an eye catcher when you see it on someone. Um, this is like a crossbody length but it's a little bit higher and here is the interior oops okay here's the interior of the bag what's kind of cool is that the straps right here kind of like actually belt it together so when you pull it up to carry it it closes the bag automatically which is kind of nice here's the interior it just just has that one interior pocket right there and that is it. Very, 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 ooh, vintage with the Cheetah Girl vibes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mel, it looks just like the flamenco. Okay, Mel already knows. Our, like, Mel and I have this mutual love of Loewe. So every time I say Loewe, Mel's eyes just get big, just like those um, emojis that she just used right there. So such a cute little All Saints bag. It's in like new condition, beautiful, smooth leather the color is kind of like a charcoal gray and it's beautiful i love it so this is going to be item number five of the evening this is <laughs> mel <laughs> item number five is our all saints oh okay I cannot spell oh brina it's okay we are we just started we're just on item number five we have our all saints um, little shoulder bag. Oh, Jag's there too. Hi, Jag. How much are we asking for this one, Vidrian? <laughs> the All Saints bag. All right, we're going to do $85 on this one. All Saints shoulder bag for $85. Maria, oh, Maria, okay, I'm late, but I wanted to chime in about guests because I worked for them for years. And honestly, the only thing worth spending there is their bags and certain shoes because everything else. Maria, yeah, the bags and the shoes, I think, were like my favorite thing about guests as well, just because um, I did like the quality of them. Their handbags are actually very, very nice. If you guys ever find any of their bags, 
And sorry, I keep fiddling with my hair, but I feel like it's just like all over the place. <clears throat> oh my gosh, Brina, I'm so sorry. The two bags are already sold. It was this uh, Zach Posen bag and then the Givenchy. So I'm so sorry, Brina, they already sold. We would always get returns on the clothes. Oh no, that's awful, Maria. I hate it when people say, RJ, I love Coach. I think Coach is like awesome. Sh moldy shipments? That's crazy. <gasps> I can't believe that would happen. Like when they come in, like I think they come in like freight or something, right? And they probably get like crazy moldy like on the boats. Yikes. Okay, our next item for the evening is going to be, let's do, oh, let's do this. Okay, so I'm so excited that you guys have been loving that Zadig. Oh, Jag, there's Jag. Hey, Jag. Oh, they came in smelly. Oh, my gosh. And Maria, what would happen when they came in like that? Will they, like, have to, like, send it back? Like, what do they do? That's crazy. Sean. Hi, Sean. How's it going? Uh, that's okay. How much was the Givenchy? I think I had... How much was it, Adrian? Hold on. Let me, like, let me check. Uh, was 400 Okay. Um, so up next, we have the Zadig and Voltaire tote. Um, I'm really excited about this one. It is so, so cute. But hi, Sean. How's it going? Uh, oh, thank you, Esau. What do you think about the leather Vera Bradley bags? Are they good quality? Um, I always I'm kind of like apprehensive whenever I find whenever I find a leather Vera Bradley bag. Um, I know that retail they're pretty expensive, but I feel like resale they're not as popular. Like I feel like people still like the fabric ones still more. And there's actually this one fabric. Their Bradley bag that I am like on the hunt for. So if anyone ever finds one, it's the large tote bag and it has like this unicorn print on it that's almost like a tapestry look. Like, if anyone ever finds that, please let me know because I will buy it from you because <laughs> it is such a cute bag and I need it in my life. It has unicorns on it. Carl Lagerfeld should be mentioned more. Oh, yeah, RJ. It's so sad that Carl Lagerfeld's actual brand is not as popular as, like, the ones that he's the head of. Like, when he was the head of Chanel and Fendi. Um, like, of course, like, amazing. And then Carl Lagerfeld's stuff was, like, at TJ Maxx. Um, what's the length of the Zach Posen bag? Are you asking about the length of the body of the bag? Let me see. Um, where is... Okay, so from at the base, it's 11 and a half inches. And, and then at the longest, where the wings are, it's about 15 inches. Yeah, so 11, yeah. You're welcome, man. Okay, uh, what are we showing now? I already forgot. Oh, so there's the Deacon Voltaire tote. Sorry about that. So it has a front zipper pocket right here. It has two pockets also on the side, and then another one here on the back. And then the interior, I have some stuffing in there. We actually have um, a little removable pouch that it comes with as well. And then we have one interior zipper pocket that's just right there. Oh, Anne, what did you find? Tell me. Okay, so this is going to be item number... I already forgot the number one. Item number six. It's the Zadig and Voltaire. Okay, item number six. This is the Zadig and Voltaire tote bag. And this one, I'm going to ask 125 for this one. It is in... Fantastic condition, very minimal signs of wear. There's no like rubbing on the corners or anything. The leather is so soft and the quilting is gorgeous. Like on the front, it, the quilting is only right here on the pocket, but then the sides are fully quilted and then the back also is fully quilted. And it's really cool diamond pattern. Oh, item number six is Sharon's. 
Congratulations, Sharon, on the Zadig and Voltaire bag. It is a beauty. You are going to love it. So congratulations. She is beautiful. Do y'all see the new Michael Kors Soho bag? RJ, I have not seen it. Hold on. I'm going to have to, like, check it out really quick. And did you see it already? Am I the only one that missed it? Hold on. Let's see. Let me show the class. Michael Kors Soho bag. Is it? Um, let's see. Soho bag. Here we go. Michael Kors. Images. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, here it is. Let me show it to you guys in... Let me show it to you in brown because I think that'll come up best on camera. But that is the Michael Kors Soho. It is beautiful. Oh, Sharon, I'm so glad you like those other bags. They're so pretty. Zedig and Voltaire bags are awesome. But this Soho bag is also a stunner. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, here's the green one. That um, Is this the one you're talking about, Anne? It also has, I think those are studs. Yeah, studs on them. That's beautiful. Ooh, imagine to find one of those at the thrift. That would be so cool. I guess they come in an array, a plethora of colors, if you will. There you go. I really like that um, that mustard color. That's really pretty. I love that shade of, like, yellow. My friend was obsessed with the hot pink one. Ooh, you know which um, bags I also like? I don't remember the name, but the Coach... Um, the coach like pillow bags. Ugh, they're so cute. I love the mini one, but I love like the gigantic extra large one. They're so fun. Oh, there you go. Maria is already mentioning it too. <laughs> Maria, we're on the same brainwave. Um Hadrian, will you look up the Louis Vuitton by the pool mini backpack? Ooh, let's look it up. And I think, yeah, I think we can make it. Ooh, talking about chains. Okay. So I'm so sorry about like the whole chain thing. Like I haven't replied to any of your emails yet or anything because I've been trying to get the chains in and ordering them has been a bit of a process. There were um, some of them have come in. I'm still waiting on shipments. I think they're supposed to come tomorrow. So um, those like we'll we'll talk again tomorrow about the chains. Hopefully, hopefully they arrive. Let's cross our fingers so I can let you guys know. Uh, but let's look up that. Um, a Louis Vuitton by the pool mini backpack. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, actually, I wanted to make a... Okay, so there's the bag. I actually have a chain combo already like this, but I'll show you tomorrow. But it's really, really cute. I've been working on a couple things. Um... Leslie, did you see Vadrian? Did you send Leslie's backpack yet? It's a coach backpack. Ooh, Anne sent a few photos of the items that she found. Let's see. Vadrian's looking it up. Um, um Leslie, which coach backpack was it? Oh, you wanted to know if it's sold. Okay, just kidding. I was like, oh my gosh, Vadrian, look it up, because I don't remember. Um, it was it this coach backpack? Because if it's this one, I still have this one. I think this is the only coach backpack I have at the moment. So this is the only one right now, but this is, I guess this will be the next item. Um, let's just check out Anne's bag first. Ooh, okay. Here we go. Ah, everything's falling. The new Coach Rainbow Tote Mini. Ooh, I have to check that out, RJ. Okay, so this is really cute. It's like a wallet. And then we have a crossbody phone bag. That looks like it's a Michael Kors. Coach wallet was $10, and says. Okay, what do we have next? I love our little thrift show and tell. <gasps> Stop it. What is this one? This furry bag? That's cool. And what's this one? Tell us more about it. Eclair, the very bad the unicorn pattern is co-branded. Yes, Eclair, that's the one. Um, Anne says this is Juliana Tesso mink bag. Wow, that is beautiful, Anne. Oh, this one got stretched out, but they look like some um, Ferragamo loafers. Beautiful. And last but not least, oh my gosh, time out. 
Did you thrift a Versace bag? And is this Versace? Oh, it's not. Oh my gosh. I'm like dying. It kind of looks like Versace. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Oh, a gift for your mom. I bought it for four fifty. Okay, but it is Versace, but you didn't thrift it. But it's but it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love it. Moschino. I don't know what Moschino. Oh, Moschino. Yes. I was like, it just separated the two words. I think it's underrated too. I love Moschino stuff. So beautiful. Okay. Sorry. Backpack. Here we go. Backpack, coach backpack. This one is brand new. I think I've shown it to you guys a couple times already. It's a drawstring backpack. I think this bag retails for like about $500 uh, on the coach website. It's beautiful. It has a back zipper that goes into the main body of the bag. And then it has two side pockets on the exterior, a front pocket, and here's the rest of the bag. It has just um it has a zipper pocket in the front and then a pocket in the back too. So but everything is brand new on this. All the stuffing is still original and everything is still like packaged up beautifully and it also has like some really cool like, gunmetal colored hardware which is fantastic so there you go this is gonna be uh, this one's 275 item number um i think we're on six seven seven black coach backpack This one is 275 if anyone is interested. It has marks on it, which is why I asked for a good nap. Oh, Zagan, congratulations on your Moschino bag. That's awesome. Congratulations. Okay, what do we have next? So we did this the Dagan Voltaire. We have... Oh, oh, let's do this. Oh, my gosh. Okay. This one I'm really excited about because this is such a gorgeous bag. And I feel like I haven't um, I haven't thrifted or gotten anything like this from this brand. in a ho Oh, no, I did have one recently, but not like a big bag like this. Oh, Maria. I didn't know that they had um, faux leather pieces. Ooh, Michelle, a vintage Gucci. Oh, let's check it out. Oh, also, I'm sorry. If anyone sent their info to me to send um, invoices, please let me know. <laughs> um, let me check. Okay, hold on one second. Okay, let me send. Sorry, let me just send these to Vadrian really quick. So this is for the Givenchy Vadrian. Oh yeah, Michelle, I can definitely do that for sure. Okay. So we'll make sure to include that in your invoice. And then here is that Gucci that Michelle found. Wow. There we go. Gorgeous. Congratulations, Michelle. That's so cool. Um, okay. Up next, you guys, I'm so sorry. I'm just like getting sidetracked left and right. But up next, we have this beautiful Burberry large hobo shoulder bag. It is stunning. It's beautiful, dark, dark brown leather. And it's like this beautiful, stunning pebbled leather as well. And it's so soft and supple. The, the bag is in fantastic condition, you guys. It's literally in such great, great shape. Um, it just has, it's like very understated. It has a little Burberry guy right there. 
and then also on all of the hardware as well. I don't know if that's popping up. Right, Sharon? Oh my gosh. This bag is so, so beautiful. I just love the way that it sits too. Oh, Vadrian always fell out of my ear. I just love the way too that it like sits. I want to show you guys. Like on your shoulder. Like it's so, so cute. Like I, I just love it. It's so beautiful. And then when you open it, like so, you have that beautiful pop of the Burberry checker print inside and um it also does come with the original dust bag as well which is fantastic you guys already know i don't even like burberry <laughs> but yeah it is beautiful the interior is in fantastic condition there's like it's there's literally like nothing wrong with this bag at all like no marks or imperfections or anything just just perfection, I feel like it's so beautiful. So it has that one zipper pocket right there. And then on the other side, it has um, three open pockets. So one, two, three. And this one, right, you guys, it's so pretty. Okay, so this is gonna be item number, I think it's number eight. So this is item number eight, and this is our large brown Burberry Hobo bag. And I'm asking 400 for this one if anyone's interested. She's in such beautiful condition, you guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yes. Yeah. And then here is... Yes, Anne. It's like a dark, dark, dark brown. It's not black. It's like a very dark brown. I know it, it looks black until you get it like the, like, um, unless you're looking at it like in direct sunlight, then you can see that it's like a really, really, really dark brown, but it's definitely, it's definitely brown. <laughs> I think it's also from the lighting too. It's making it look like, if I move it closer, does it look like it? Or if I show, maybe if I put something black against it, maybe like if you compare no, nope, it still looks black. <laughs> Wait, is it coming up now? Oh, there it is. Does it look brown now? Does it, is it, does it look more brown now that I can put it next to the black bag? Um, but yeah. There you go. Okay. So that, that, there's that um, Burberry bag. Oh, hi, Tanya. Welcome to the live sale. Hello, Shaki. <laughs> and and still thinks it's black. I promise it's brown. I promise. Large brown hobo. It's it's a dark, dark, dark brown. Like if you're inside, it probably will look black until you go outside in the day. Oh, Jessica sent photo. Sorry, Jessica. Let's see what Jessica said. Ooh, okay, you guys. Jessica sent her enchiladas. There we go. They look delicious. Chef's kisses. Look at that. Yum, yum, yum. So go check out her. Um, You guys got to check out her Instagram and Facebook so you guys can order if you guys are in or around the Fresno area. Ooh, okay. Zagan sent the Gucci pouch. There it is from Zagan. That is so cute, Zagan. I love that shape, too, like the rounded top. It's so cute. Ooh, and we have... <gasps> Some Chanel's, Chanel shoes. These are so beautiful. Oh, hi, Kathy. Tanya. Ooh, Tanya, you found a Seal by Chloe page wallet for $4. That's beautiful. But um, Zagan, these Chanel's are gorgeous. So definitely congratulations. Thank you. Um, we will send that info, Sharon, as well. I'll send that to Vadrian. Okay. Sorry, you guys. Trying to, like... Um... Chanel. Right, Tanya, they're so pretty, huh?
All right. Um, let's see what we have up next. <gasps> okay. I have a little Chanel piece up next. This one, I it's like a super cool, kind of like rare find as well that I'm super excited about. Um, but here we go. It is this really cute, this is a Chanel keychain. And it is a little mini tiny Chanel bag. And then it has these cute little charms. It has a Coco Chanel charm. It has a little four leaf clover. And then it has the CC logo charm on there as well. It is so, so, so adorable. It has a magnetic little um, opening uh, magnetic tab. Uh, you're going to fit a whole... You, it will fit a chicken nugget. <laughs> but... Um, it actually is perfect for your AirPods. So this is like a a perfect AirPod case. I have my AirPods right here. They just fit in here perfectly. And you can put them on your um, on your keys. So it's perfect for the AirPods. Or what you can also do, which I don't have a chain here with me. Why do I not have a chain? Um... You can actually attach a chain to this and make it like a necklace or you can carry it like as a tiny little bag. So it's really, really cute. And I I just am obsessed. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be item number... What item number are you on? I think it's going to be eight. Nine. Item number nine. Jacques-Anne. <laughs> and you're so funny. So this is going to be mini Chanel purse. Oh, Jazza Baller called item number nine. Congratulations, Jezza Baller. I don't even remember what item that was because my brain has left my body. Um, that is for the Burberry Hobo Bag. Woo! Congratulations. Oh, Jezza Baller, it is a dark, 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 dark brown. It is not going to look brown until you put it in, like, direct sunlight. But um, it's a dark, dark brown. Was Yeah. Burberry was number eight. Oh, wait. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm confused, too. Jezebel, I think, were you <laughs> just talking about the number? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> oh, Chanel's number nine. Thank you, Jezebel. Oh, my gosh. My brain is dead. But it's a tan color. It's like a tan. Um, yeah, tan. And this one, how much is this one, Vadrian? Okay, this one is gonna be six, six. No, let's do okay, five seventy-five. <laughs> so five seventy-five. Anyone's interested? It is in beautiful condition. A mini Chanel. You cannot fit credit cards inside Zagan. I wish you could, but unfortunately, it really it's like change or your AirPods inside so like my airpods just like fit in there perfectly um and it, it'll fit the i the airpod pros in there too because it does have a ton of room um or chicken nuggets like Anne <laughs> suggests so this is going to be item number nine a snack bag you can put like um you can put like little uh what are they called fishy crackers in here that's what eliza would put little fishy crackers so there we go. I'm looking for LV Speedy. Does ooh, Esau's looking for a Speedy. Does anyone have one for sale? Because I don't have one right now. Yeah, you can put your car key fob in there as well. Mini lipstick. Oh, that'll work. All right, up next, um, I have ooh. Okay, I have this up next, you guys. You guys are going to be excited for this. Up next, we have this beautiful blue Balenciaga. This is the one that has the long, uh, the long crossbody strap. I don't remember the name. I should remember because I had the red one last week. But um, this one is in a beautiful smoky blue color. It has this gorgeous... Um, hardware. We also do have, oh, the Velo. Thank you, Tanya. We also do have this beautiful rainbow 
little charm, our little chain on there as well. Here's the back of the bag. It does have a little bit of wear, has some marks, some lining along the front, which does happen to Balenciaga bags. Um, uh, we do also have the original mirror still that comes with the bag, which is right here. RJ, I'm so sorry. I don't have any Tommy Hilfiger. Anne wants to buy that for me. <laughs> the Real Real House of here is so funny. Um, here is the interior of the bag right there. And it is nice and clean. No rips, tears, stains, or anything. Um, and then here we go. And then it has the little number right there underneath. <laughs> Don't die, Anne. We need you here. But, yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bag. There's also a little bit of um, color wear on the handles, but nothing, like, too crazy or anything. So, gorgeous blue Balenciaga. So, this is going to be what's the strap drop? Oh, and this is, um, it's, is it adjustable? It is slightly adjustable, too, okay? So let me give you the drop for how it is right now. But the strap is long. It's a crossbody. So it will go longer than this as well. But right now, it's 23 inches. It's definitely um, like a medium-sized tote size. Medium to large. It's a good size. Like in comparison to the, the, the Dig and Voltaire tote. They're very, very similar in size. All right. So this one is going to be item number 10. And this is the Balenciaga Blue. Um, I already forgot the name of this. That someone told me what it was. Um... Do, 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 do. Oh, Velo. There you go. There it is. Velo. Balenciaga Velo bag. Blue. And this one we're asking 400 if anyone is interested. 400 in the. Oh, hi, something latte. How's it going? Thank you for everyone that said Velo. My brain is just like gone. Whenever you see Balenciaga, I'm reminded of that scene in American Horror Story. Oh my gosh, Isa, that's like literally one of my favorite moments in like TV history. I love when she screams Balenciaga. That's like all I can think of too. I She's like literally my favorite character too. I love that season of American Horror Story. It was so, so good. All right. Um, Up next, I have... Okay, up next, I have a little treat for you guys. I have this beautiful Loewe. Um, I believe this is called the Cushion Tote. And this is in canvas and leather. Uh, it is so, so beautiful. Uh, oh, yes, everyone say hi to something latte. Ooh, um, something Latte, follow, I think that's your Instagram name as well, but leave your Instagram handle because you guys have to follow her. She also has an amazing YouTube channel. She talks about luxury bags and everything that we love. So you guys have to give her a follow. Also, her Instagram is amazing. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Um, Diego, does the Chanel have wear on it? Um, very minimal. There's the corners. There is a little bit of cracking right here in the corners right there, though. Just right there in these two corners when you open it. But there's the little Chanel. Um, and then the it says Made in France right there. And then we have the serial number all the way down there in that little corner. But yeah, the exterior has like very minimal to no signs of wear at all. Brina, I've been carrying the black Balenciaga every day since I got it. Oh, Brina, I'm so happy that you like it. The Burberry, do you think Brina Burke should be a luxury brand? 
Um, I don't know. Like, does Dooney and Burke, does Dooney and Burke like do like clothing? I don't know. I feel like to be like a like a true luxury brand, like either like Hermes or Chanel, has to like kind of like encompass everything. But yeah, I'm so happy, Brina, that you like it. Okay, sorry you guys, I got sidetracked. What was I talking about? Oh, okay, back to the Loewe. So here we are, the Loewe cushion tote. This one is in uh, a beautiful canvas and the uh, brown leather. There are some like faults with it though. It looks like there are some dark marks on the back right there. And this is actually, I don't know what happened, like if it was some sort of like defect when, or it got like melted or something, but the edge coating from the handles like melted onto the bag. And there are just a couple little marks that it left. So a little bit right there, a little bit right there, and a little bit here in this corner right there, and a little bit too on this handle. But it's all on the back, like the front is in great shape. Here's the interior. Um, it got a little bit right there too on the interior. If you can see it right there. But all of these are pockets. There's four large pockets going around the bag and you can tie it right here with the string. And this is the largest size this bag comes in. It's an amazingly large tote and it is beautiful. Um, could you hold up the Balenciaga? Yes, I can. Here we go. Let's do a side by side of the Balenciaga and the Burberry. <laughs> Brina, it's massive. It's like such a large tote. Um, I, I love it. <laughs> if it doesn't sell tonight, I'm probably going to keep it because I've already been using it and I'm like kind of obsessed and I want to like take it to Trader Joe's and put flowers and a baguette inside of it. Um, does Loewe and Chloe bags compete? I don't know if they compete because I think like they appeal to different demographics. Can you guess it? Oh yeah, the Burberry is definitely way bigger. Um, and yeah, send me a message, Anne. Uh, hold on. Actually, I'm going to send you a message, Anne. Um, sorry, I've been trying to read this anyway. I'm sorry, you can email. Ooh, look at Eve's Garden. Check it out, Esau. Okay. And thank you. I'm going to send you a message. Oh, wait. C. De Leon, mine, Balenciaga. C. De Leon. Uh oh. Wait, Anne, did you see that? Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> I'm so sorry, Anne. Bids. <laughs> I don't know if Anne wants to do that. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, and then Sharon called the Burberry. Oh my gosh, what is happening? All right, and I'm so sorry, but congratulate congratulations um, <laughs> to both Sharon and our friend um, <laughs> C. De Leon. There we go. <laughs> Sharon, I'm sweating now. <laughs> I'm sweating too. This is crazy. But congratulations to the both of you. Thank you guys so, so much. Um, we will send you your invoices momentarily. Um, oh, but for... Wait, is Mel still here? Mel, did you see the love? Isn't it so cute? I love it. Yes, you De Leon, it is yours. I'm sorry, Anne. Anne, I'm sure there's something else for you tonight. 
Um, but for the levy, this is gonna be item number what item number are we on? I already forgot. I think we're on number eleven. I hope I'm right. Eleven. So this is the Loewe cushion tote. And I'm asking 700 for this. Actually, no. Yes. No. 675? 675. <laughs> yeah, I'm like talking to myself. <laughs> Everyone's just like, uh. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Cushion tote. Ah, it's so beautiful. Look at it sitting back there. Um. All right, do you guys want to do another Chanel next? So I have another Chanel. Oh, see, Dalian, I'm so excited. I'm so happy that I can provide you your first Balenciaga bag because Balenciaga bags are so amazing and you're going to love it. And yes, you did. Brina, oh my gosh, if you had like, you could put like a non-puppy in there. You can put a couple puppies in there. It's so big. Okay, another Chanel. Here we go. So it's in this little pouch. So it comes with a pouch. <laughs> and inside the pouch is a pouch. So it's, this is a Chanel O-case. And it is in this beautiful blue lambskin quilted leather in gorgeous condition. Mel, oh Mel, oh, I didn't know it has been around for 175 years. That's amazing. And it does come also with the um the authentication like card that it comes with, as well as like the little Chanel serial number thing as well. And the inside is this gorgeous like quilted nylon. There's a Chanel, Chanel made in Spain right there. And then down in this bottom corner is the serial number on a little leather tab. But you will get the whole set of the pouch as well as the dust bag. Oh my gosh, something latte. I love the puzzle bags. I have so many of them. I am like a puzzle bag hoarder. And I have been looking for one for you guys, but like I can't find any that are like a decent price that um, I don't like feel crazy trying to resell to you guys because it's so expensive. Like I want to give you guys a good deal. So I'm like, they're just so expensive right now. I need to find one. Um, oh, LVMH owns Loewe. I did not know that. Okay, sorry you guys. <laughs> Sharon has never not paid. <laughs> Bruno, you're so funny. That is so true, though. Oh, but um, oh, also for the... Oh, C. De Leon, did you send me your info? Let me just check really quick because I am... Um... Oh, C. De Leon, we also have your info, too. So that in the invoice will be is already sent to you as well. Okay. Um, what am I doing now? Okay. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> I'm, like, so, like, scatterbrained at the moment. But, Chanel, this is going to be item number, I believe this is going to be item number 12. Um, yeah, item number 12 is the Chanel O case. And this one, how much are we asking for this one? Let's do... Um Okay, let's do 450 if anyone's interested. Oh, Isao, you're so funny. Isao, you are still young. You have all the time in the world to start your designer handbag collection. So, YSL camera bag. Ooh, I do love the YSL camera bag, RJ. Oh, number 12, Angela. Yay, Angela, congratulations on the Chanel pouch. Oh, yes. 
Congratulations. And you can just buy the Hermes. <laughs> congratulations. And this is such, or Angela, this is such a beautiful piece. So congratulations. This is going to, uh, I'm so excited. It's going to such a good home too. Like I'm so excited whenever any of these bags go to you guys because you guys are all just so amazing. So I'm just so happy. So thank you guys again for just always being so amazing. Um... All right, you guys, what do we have next? Let's do... Let me just put that Burberry up there. Uh, oh, let's do this. This is such a cute bag. All right, up next, we have this stunning piece right here. And this is a beautiful Kate Spade satchel. The color is like going crazy on camera. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm like trying to read your comments. <laughs> but yes, congratulations to Angela. That couch is so stunning. I'm so excited, Angela. I'm so excited for you to get it. Um, so next we have this beautiful Kate Spade satchel. This one is in like new condition and also does come with the dust bag. I just love how timeless the silhouette of this bag is. It kind of reminds me of kind of like the Kelly kind of shape and style. Um, also reminds me of like the Miss Sisley from Dolce & Gabbana. But the color is this beautiful like electric salmon pinky orange color. Bidding makes me sweaty and my heart races. <laughs> See Deleon. Um... Brina, yes, there's only one handle. It's just the top handle right here. And then we have the crossbody or the longer strap. It's not really a crossbody. It will sit really high if you wear a crossbody. Actually, I do like the length of this. I would wear it like this, but this is how long it would be. So it's definitely a shoulder length unless you attach a longer strap to it. Um, it is beautiful. It has a turn lock opening which has very minimal wear actually on the turn lock it is still in really really good condition um oh tanya you you are totally fine you just keep cooking because we're coming over for dinner afterwards <laughs> just kidding um oh wait you know i think i lied about the dust bag i'm so sorry i thought it had a dust bag in it and it's just the it's just the the tissue i'm so sorry i'm the worst I don't have a dust bag. If I can find one, though, I, I usually try to include them. But I don't think I have any dust bags at the moment. But here is the interior. There's just one interior zipper pocket in the back and then two pockets here in the front. And it is just such a beautiful, sunny, bright color. You take a pill for bed. <laughs> and... Okay, so this is going to be item number, I think this is item number 13. Um, item number 13, and this is the Electric Salmon uh, Kate Spade Satchel. And this one, we're asking, we're asking $95 for this one. And it's in like new condition, you guys. It's in fantastic shape. Very minimal signs of wear at all. The only sign of wear I think I see on this bag is just like around, you can see like a little hairline mark, which um, is caused by the turn lock just right there. But the hardware is just perfect. See, DeLeon, thank you so much for your payment. I appreciate you. All right. What do we have up next? Um, oh, speaking of Chanel, I do still have the Chanel necklace, if anyone is interested, the Chanel choker. It is so cute. I always forget that I still have this. And one day I'm going to use it as a bag charm, but I keep forgetting. I still have this beautiful Chanel necklace. Look how fun that is. Electric Salmon sounds like a band name. I agree. <laughs> so Chanel necklace. Um, it has so many different, like, stones in it. I love the letter N right there with all the rhinestones. 
And then we have like the enamel pieces as well. And this is a choker. So you'd wear it kind of like that. Doesn't quite fit around my neck, but um, yeah. <laughs> but she's a gorgeous piece. I also do have the little um, dust bag. Uh, no Dior saddle bag, unfortunately. I don't have any Dior today, RJ. I'm sorry. But there we go. This one retails for $1,025. So this is going to be item number 14. And that is the Chanel necklace. How much, Adrian? And it was $600. But let's do $570 if anyone's um, interested. All right. Chanel necklace for $570 right there. And then up next, I have... Man, I have a lot of stuff, you guys. We can go on for a while tonight. Okay. Um, I have this amazing vintage Dooney and Burke bag and it's in a beautiful navy color. It's like in a, a dark navy, dark blue. I know it might look it might look a little black, but it's navy. So it's made in USA. Um brass hardware. It has a crossbody strap right here. Beautiful. And I love that it has, like, the two pockets on the front. This is, like, a rare style. This isn't one that you see very often from the vintage Dooney and Burks. So I'm very excited about it. So we have the two front pockets. We have a back pocket right there. And then the interior is um, just the leather suede of the interior of the bag. There's no pockets or anything. Here's a little Made in USA tag right there. And... <laughs> There you go. It also still does have the little uh, charm as well, the brass little Dooney and Burke charm on there. And it's super, super cute. May I see? Oh, yes, Michelle, you can definitely see it. Uh, let me just do the price of this one. So this is going to be item number 15, vintage navy Dooney and Burke crossbody bag. And this one is going to be $95 if anyone is interested. We'll throw this guy right over there. Um, you wanted to see the... Here's the Fendi spy bag one more time. Oh, Sharon, number 15. <laughs> Woo! Congratulations, Sharon, on the vintage Tooney and Burke. And you're cut off now. You're so funny. <laughs> okay here is uh vadrian's updating your invoice again sharon thank you so much for your purchase uh here's that fendi again for um who was it again that wanted to see this michelle michelle here you go here is the the little spy bag so cute the color is so pretty i love these ombre handles, they are everything. And like my hopes and dreams. <laughs> and you're crazy. There you go, Sharon. Okay. Um, sorry, I need to drink some water. I need to, need to hydrate. Exactly. Sharon knows what she wants. <laughs> Love that. Okay. Um, oh, I do also have this little um, Tory Burch crossbody bag. It's in this putty color right there. Gold hardware crossbody strap, which is removable and adjustable. So you can use this just as the pouch by itself if you wanted, or you can kind of use it as like a large, like a like a wallet pouch also. Um, the interior doesn't have any pockets or anything inside. And it's in great shape, does have a little bit of like 
discoloration just like right there. I don't even know if you can really see it too well. Just like that light little spot. But other than that, it's in really great shape. And I love the color. It's kind of like this putty, um, taupey color. And the hardware, it's like, woo, shines bright and beautiful. Any more Balenciaga? And I may have another Balenciaga. So, um... The Fendi has loops for G. You know what? I they're um. I believe that they are to just hold, to pull the zipper closed, Maria. But I actually believe you can put D rings in here to attach a crossbody strap, and I do have some D rings to put in that we can try if anyone is interested in buying this and um trying to convert it into a crossbody strap. I can attach some D rings to it. So, it's so cute. Zara should be a luxury brand. I haven't been to Zara in a long time, RJ. <laughs> I'm sorry, I really wouldn't know. But um, Esau, Eve's Garden sent you those photos. Shines bright gold eye. Yes! Oh my gosh, Brina, that is so... I still can't believe those. that was in your bag. That's so crazy. Okay, Um. up next. Oh, wait, I don't even... Oh, what was the Tory Burch? Okay, sorry. I didn't even get the price of the Tory Burch. Tory Burch is going to be item number 16. Tory Burch, small crossbody bag in taupe. And this one, we're asking $85 for that. For the Tory Burch. So this guy over here. Um. All right, what do we have... Next. Oh, this one is pretty cool. Okay, I'm excited about this one. All right, you guys. This one is um pretty cool because I haven't found one like this in a very long time. But this is a, a Brahmin. <laughs> I was like, what is this? This is a Brahmin shoulder bag. This is vintage Brahmin. Has a little uh, brass Brahmin medallion right there. Um, this is the embossed crook right there. And what's super cool is that this is actually vintage Brahmin made in USA. And it has the stamping on here, which is super cool. So made in USA by Brahmin right across the top, which is so like it like it's rare to find bags like this that say that across the top. Um, the inside is just a microfiber cloth, but we have a middle zipper pocket. We have the key fob, a zipper pocket, two pen, two pen slots, and then two inner pockets right there as well. Overpriced H and M, Maria. Hi, Carmen. How's it going? Welcome to the live sale. Thank you for joining us tonight. Okay, so this is going to be item number 17, our vintage Brahmin. Right there, item number 17. Vin... No, I can't even spell. Vintage Brahmin. And this one, we're asking... 95 if anyone is interested in vintage Brahmin. There we go. Item number 17. All right. Um, oh, here we go. Since we're on Brahmin, I do have another Brahmin piece. Um, I don't know. This one isn't vintage, though, so this is a little bit more of a current style. Hi, Shoe Diva. Welcome to the live sale. All right. Up next, we have um, the other Brahmin bag. This one is also in black embossed croc. It has a really cute little bow detail, knotted bow detail there on the front. We have our little Brahmin medallion charm on the side right there. And this is also a shoulder bag. There's the back. And the interior um, has one zipper pocket, the key fob, two open pockets, and then two little pen loops down there in the corner. Does your phone fit in the toy crossbody? 
How did I not check? I think it does, though. All right. Oh, my phone is plugged in. All right. Here we go. Phone check. Does it fit? Let's see. Oh, and it fits in there perfectly. Yes. So does the phone does fit inside. Definitely. Uh, my boyfriend and I went to Zara for my birthday. He scored a hundred jacket for forty five. Oh, that's awesome, Maria! Don't you love when that happens? I need a Y two K shoulder bag, Maria. I'm on it. I need to find one for you. I love a good Y two K shoulder bag, Maria. I love to like that. I've been loving the Brahmin bags lately. I have. Ooh, shoe diva. Yes, Brahmin bags are fantastic, and um, I feel like they also have like a pretty cool cult following. Like people love them. Okay. Um, so this is going to be item number 18, 18, okay, this is going to be the Black Bow Brahmin shoulder bag, and this one, we're asking 115 for this guy, the, the manager had to be called over and he was shocked. RJ, I actually like fossil bags. A lot of fossil bags, I think, are really nice. Some of them do look a little bit more, like, vintage, but I think that's kind of, like, their, um, that's, like, the style of them. Like, they're supposed to look like that. So I keep trying to, like, fix my, <laughs> my sleeves. They're, like, bothering me. Okay, up next, we have, oh, this is cool. I need to, like, clean it up still, though. So I think I might, I think I might save this piece for tomorrow. So we'll just save this guy. Um, oh, okay. I have... This one is really, really cute, you guys. And Brina, this actually matches that bag that you bought. But right here, I have this super duper um, cute Kate Spade little... What is this called? Like a coin pouch? It's a round one with really cute pearls on it. Adorbs. And the inside just looks like that. It's in really great shape. And it's just like on a little round ring right there. <laughs> Everyone back off. <laughs> Angela's, or Brina, <laughs> she's like so into this one because she actually has the matching bag. Uh, so this is going to be item number 19. This is the Kate Spade Pearl Round Coin Pouch. And this one, we're asking $45 for this one. We see how savage the chat is. <laughs> you guys are like piranhas in the water. <laughs> it's like we just chummed it, and you guys are like ready for... You guys are ready for eating. You guys are hungry. But yeah, so, so cute. Oh, Jag. <laughs> Chum the sharks equals chat. <laughs> you guys are so funny. No, no, you guys, Jag and Brina are actually married. So they, when they like are like, they're one person as far as bidding goes. <laughs> Jag and Brina are going to bid against each other. Jag, you can put this like on your keychain. <laughs> All right, where's the gavel? Congratulations, Brina, on the beautiful Kate Spade coin pouch. It is adorable. You're going to love it. <laughs> oh goodness gracious okay um uh, so we got that one all right up next we have a um this is the second balenciaga piece for the evening i can't believe we have so many of these right now but um i have another one of these so i think like two weeks ago or a week ago i had um this in a different color now we have it in black um so, so cute. This is a little crossbody bag. It's in fantastic condition. Um, oh, also, it does have the mirror. The first one I had didn't have the mirror, but this one does have the mirror as well. Sorry, <laughs> like we're reading your comments. I have to carry my left round in my bag. It's not big enough. Sorry, Anne. It's a little small, 
But um, so we have the crossbody strap, which is removable, so you can just use this as a pouch by itself. We have the front zipper. We have the interior looks like this. There is also one zipper pocket in the back and then another pocket right here in the front. And then, like I said, it also does come with the removable mirror as well. It's in fantastic, fantastic condition. Um, very minimal signs of wear. And the phone check. Oh, yeah. Where's my phone? Where'd I put it? Pretty sure the food, the phone, the phone, the phone will fit. Fits in there beautifully. Can this little bag actually can hold a ton? So it's adorable. Yep, it's small black Balenciaga brand. It is adorable. Right there. Okay. So this is gonna be item number twenty. Item number twenty. This is gonna be the small black Balenciaga crossbody bag. And this one, how much is this, Adrian? This one's gonna be three seventy-five. If anyone is interested in a small black Balenciaga crossbody, three seventy-five. Let's do one last look. Before we go on to the next item of the evening, she's gorgeous. We love her. <sighs> okay, uh, up next. Oh, okay, how about let's do this? Um, up next, we have. This really, really cute Michael Kors backpack. This is a little mini backpack. It is adorable. Jag, you drive a hard bargain. But okay, congratulations. Sold to Jag and Brina. <laughs> All right. I don't know if that was like so fast. I don't number 21. <laughs> Oh, I did take my phone out. It's right here. Thank you. Thanks for looking out, Linda. I would, if I left the phone in there, I would have been looking for it for hours. <laughs> Congratulations, Jag and Brina. Woo! I need to get like one of those like little noise makers or something. Wake up the house. What are those like ones that you press down and it goes? Uh, okay, so. Michael Kors backpack. This is in like that vanilla kind of like azure colorway, like in Louis Vuitton. Um, really, really cute monogram. And then we have the brown leather trim. This bag is in great shape. We have a front pocket. We have another compartment right here in the front, as well as one here in the back. And the back has a ton of pockets. We have a zipper pocket, a pocket right there, and then two more down there. Shudiva, I think they can't buy anything else tonight. <laughs> a little crowded. Oh, Brina, you're so funny. Brina, you need to give me a tour of your closet one day because I bet it is amazing. I'm sure you have such amazing stuff. Can you clone Jack? <laughs> but uh, here we go. Uh, Michael Kors little mini backpack. This is going to be item number, I think we're on number 21. This is the... Michael Kors mini uh, monogram backpack. It's my favorite room in the house. Ah, I bet it's amazing, Brina. Okay, we're asking $75. I need Elias Melendez. I need to find um, some Y2K style shoulder bags for you guys. I'm so sorry. I don't have anything at the moment, I think, like that. Ooh, Nancy! Yay! Congratulations! Oh, uh, thank you, Anne. I will send that to Vadrian. Alright, let's see. Let's get this sent to Vadrian. Do, 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 do. 
Any LV or Chanel card holders? Nina, not tonight, unfortunately. I'm so sorry. I don't have any... I don't think I have any more LV or Chanel tonight. So I apologize. But um, hopefully we'll find something for you guys, uh, maybe even tomorrow. Cross your fingers for me. And hopefully we can find some cool stuff for tomorrow's sale. Uh, and yes, I am having another live sale tomorrow. So if you guys want to tune in tomorrow as well, I'll have another one at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, thank you, and for your email. email um, Vader, I'm sending you Aaron's email. This is for the Zach Posen. All right, let's send that out. Okay, <laughs> and find me. <laughs> Brina just bought a house seven months ago. Shouldn't be buying bags. This likes me happy, so that's worth the least. Oh, see, Dalyon, congratulations on your house. I love it. Sharon, oh my God, Sharon, stop. You're too nice. My hair is a hot mess. So, but thank you. Um, Adrian, don't know how you juggle all this. Brian, I don't know either. Um, <laughs> A bag room. Oh my gosh, you guys. I would love a bag room one day. When I have my own house, I'm going to have a bag room and it's just going to be for bags. And it's going to be amazing and spectacular. Nothing else. RJ, a coach for a bag with rhinestones. I mean, you have rhinestones and fur. I'm already going to say yes just because of those two things. So you definitely should get it. <laughs> But everyone congratulate um, C. D. Leon on her new house seven months ago. That's amazing. Love it. We're going to need a house tour. And then um, we're going to need to have like a housewarming party. <laughs> All right. What do I have um, next? Okay. So I, I wasn't going to, like, I don't know if I'm actually going to. Okay. No, I'm going to show you guys. Um, up next, come design my house. Oh, see, De Leon, that's awesome. Oh, yeah, Anne. Did you, uh, yeah, we have a Celine. RJ, that's not bad. If it's in good condition, I'd say definitely get it. <laughs> yes, uh, you can have a gift registry at It's Hadrian. Um, any more kids, Skid? Leah, um, no, I'm sorry. Um, but maybe tomorrow I might have some more stuff. So don't forget to tune in tomorrow to see if I have anything else. Um, but we have this beautiful, 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 beautiful Celine mini luggage. And it is in the most beautiful yellow color you have ever seen. It's in like a, I can't even describe the color. It's like in this, like a, it's like buttery yellow goodness. It's like a, I don't know, a dandelion, a daffodil. Uh, yeah, and yeah, it's the mini. I love like the sizes are so funny. I have the mini, the micro, and then the nano. So this is the mini, but it's like literally the largest size. There's actually a medium, which is even bigger than this one. But the mini is the standard size that like everyone knows. It's either the mini or the nano, which is the one with the crossbody. So anyway, um, butter bag. <laughs> this is, uh, Mel, this is actually one of the older um, Celine minis. So I think this is like, a re like one of the first few generations from when this bag first came out. Um, I already do. I do payment plans. <laughs> Jazz, but I love Celine bags. Oh my gosh, I have a couple myself. I have two Phantoms. I actually have the largest Phantom size. I think it's the medium, and then I have the regular size, and then I have a Nano, and then I also have a Mini, but it's like a tricolor. Anyway, sorry, I digress. I'm so sorry. Um, this one does have some signs of wear, though. It is not, like, perfect, perfect condition. It does have some rubbing on the corners, a little bit, like, on the handles and on the back. 
Like, it's not, like, in perfect tip-top condition. The leather is getting a little soft, so it does have a little bit of slouching as well. Jezebeller, I will. I just need to sit down and film it. But, um, yeah. She's a beautiful, 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 beautiful bag. She's stunning. Um, here's the interior. Okay, let me just. The interior is in this beautiful leather right there. Super duper soft. We do have like the serial number and everything. There's like the maiden. This is an authentic piece um, as well. There's the little serial number right there. And then the maiden is actually stamped on this front piece right here. I don't know if you can see it underneath the zipper. I love those bags over. <laughs> it's like such a beautiful bag, you guys. Like honestly, like it is so, so cool. This is another bag. Like if it doesn't sell, I'm not going to be sad about it because this like, I just love Celine Minis. They're just like a work of art. I just love the design of them. And they're so, so pretty. So there we go. Okay, so this is gonna be item number, what number are we on? Um, 22. <laughs> I can already hear the shark circling in the water. This is going to be item number 22. This is the Celine mini luggage bag in butter yellow. That's what we're going to go for. Butter yellow. You should keep it. You love it. I know, Shudiv. I do love yellow. I want something more like bright, like a mustardy kind of color. But I do love this one as well. So again, if it doesn't sell, I'm not going to be sad, but... Oh my gosh, a crab cake Benedict sounds so good, Nina. I want some. Okay, um, for this one, we're asking $700 for the Celine mini luggage, if anyone is interested. We love Phoebe Philo. Yes, this is a Phoebe Philo, Phoebe Philo um, era bag. So, and this beautiful... Butter yellow color, which I this is a rare color because I never see this color for sale. I only ever see it in like photo shoot photos or whatever, or like on Instagram. So it's pretty cool to have one sitting here in my hands in my room. But she is gorgeous. She again, like I said, she does have some rubbing, a little bit of discoloration, but the front is actually in pretty good shape. But yeah, let's throw her back here next to the other bag that I don't mind keeping for the rest of my life. <laughs> I know, RJ Head, I'm so sorry. I did have to pay up for that bag, though. So otherwise, I'll try to give you guys a better discount. I agree, Mel. I feel like the Phoebe Philo era was one of the greatest eras in Celine history. And my headphone just died. Adrian, hold on. Okay. Um, what's the length? Let me check for you. So the length at the base of the bag is 12 inches. And then from wing to wing is 18 about like about 18 and a half 18 inches hi hello strangers how's it going welcome to the live sale you're just in time to see tonight's celine bag uh the pockets tuck in oh the sides um you can tuck them in if you wanted normally these ones are worn sticking out but you can put them in if you like um the ones that go in more easily are the Phantom style Celine bags. But like, if you put it in, it would be like that. 
Right? Hello, strangers. It's so pretty. But normally for um for the minis, the, the wings just stay out like this. I'll show you guys um one of the phantoms tomorrow if you guys want to see it. They're just like totally all the way over there. And all my lighting is like sitting in front of them. So I'll probably just knock them all over and my house will catch on fire. <laughs> I agree, Jezebel. I like it. Uh, I like it with the wings sticking out. So cute. Okay. Ooh, okay. It's almost midnight. So I think we're going to have to almost end. I we're going to end at midnight because John's not here. He's watching A Quiet Place 2 with his friends. Uh, so I have to go walk the dogs and I don't want them to suffer. So... <laughs> Oh, but first, has anyone seen A Quiet Place 2? Raise your hands. What, is, what did you guys think? We're taking a general consensus before John comes home, and then we'll see what he says. Um, what do we have next? Sorry, my gavel. I don't have any Zara bat. Oh, you know what, RJ? No, I think I might have some in the shop. I don't have any with me right now, but I do have some Zara bags in the... In this, in in the Depop shop. Oh, also, I forgot. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. Um, right now, everything in the Depop shop is thirty percent off. But I want to give you guys, while you're watching this, an extra ten percent off in the shop, so you get forty percent off instead of thirty. Um, to make it easier, I'm actually just going to mark everything in the shop forty percent off right now, and I'll have it on. 40% off and for an hour after the sale ends. So this is only going to be available for you guys that are watching this right now. If you guys are watching this video after the sale already ends, um, it's going to go back to 30. So I just wanted to give you guys an extra 10% off for joining me in the live sale because I appreciate you guys so, so much. So go check out the Depop shop, 10% off um, anything in there right now. I haven't even seen the first one. Oh, Tanya, the first one is really good. So I don't know. I really want to see the second. Um, I must ask, how many bags do you have? I got some. I had to buy store trays at Costco. <laughs> Just being nosy. Um, hello, strangers. I think I have. I don't know. Maybe fifty bags. Oh, see, De Leon. Um, the fireworks are actually not. Um permitted where I live because it's like a high fire risk here especially with the fire that we just had last year it was crazy so like luckily like our dog's ears are safe here because um we don't have any fireworks like the closest fireworks are like so so far away like you can barely hear them so um no way Robin that's so cool that they filmed the first one there the first one was so good Leah, you watched it. it. was good. That's awesome. Okay, sorry, you guys. I'm getting sidetracked. Um, Vadrian, I'm just going to do it, Vadrian. Wait, actually, Vadrian, can you mark everything right now? Vadrian's going to mark everything for sale right now in the shop, 40% off. So until 1 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, it'll be 40% um, off everything in the shop. And then after that, it's going to go back to regular. Um, so go check it out. If you guys want anything, um, and then I'll offer it to you guys again tomorrow night. So if you see something and you missed it today, tune in again tomorrow during the live sale, and I'm gonna mark it down again. I just want to have it for you guys because, like, you guys are honestly the best, and I appreciate you guys so much for being here um, during the live sale. So, um, forty percent off, um, and yeah, <laughs> yay! Okay. Um, but that's only for the stuff in the shop. So it has to be in the Depop shop. I have it linked down below if you guys want to check it out. Um, and yeah, all right. But you know what? I actually think I'm just going to end the video here. I'm just going to end the video here because it's like 10 minutes. Um, everything else, I'll, I'll have more new stuff tomorrow. Um, and tomorrow, you guys already know, I'm going to be shopping throughout the whole day to find some amazing stuff for you guys. So try to manifest stuff that you want me to find. Let me know what you guys want me to find as well. Any brand styles I know to look for um more i know wallets louis vuitton chanel kate spade um y2k style bags whatever else you guys want um 
Uh, what else was I going to tell you guys? Uh, <laughs> if I don't see you guys tomorrow, I hope you guys have a very happy 4th of July if you're in the U.S. or just a great weekend in general, wherever you are. Um, I do these videos every Friday and Saturday, the lives at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm going to start doing them during the week. I keep saying it, but I never do it. But one of these days, I'm going to do them during the week and try to do them earlier for people that aren't able to join during these times but i do leave these videos up so if you guys are seeing this video i will honor the prices that i leave here in the live chat until the video is taken down and if you're interested in anything just send me an email or a dm on instagram all my info is linked down below as well as in the live chat as well it's pinned over there at the top but thank you guys again all so so much brina needs more ysl Brina, I'm on the hunt for more YSL. I will be looking all day tomorrow for you guys. Um, LV or Gucci tennis shoes, size seven. Yes. Okay. Looking for it. Um, Sharon, you're. Oh, thank you so much, Sharon. I, and again, I appreciate you guys so much for being here. Um, Robin, Mimi, Tanya, Carmen, Candy, uh, Mama, Miss Lang, J uh, Jag, Michelle, Tanya, Leah, C. De Leon. Um, Jezebeler, Hamag Love, Brina, um, I think Angela, I think I said that, but Anna, uh, <laughs> Shoe Diva, Carmen, Chitika, Robin, Hello Strangers, Leah, um, Jocelyn, uh, everyone, if I didn't say your name, Claire, RJ, um, thank you guys again so much for being here with me tonight. I, I always have so much fun with you all, and you guys are the best. Uh, again, tune in tomorrow at 10 p.m. for another live sale. And um, all invoices should hopefully be have sent out right now. But if not, I'm going to check my email and stuff right now. But um, check also your um, email if uh, you purchased anything. I haven't been paying attention, unfortunately. But thank you guys again so much. I love you all immensely. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Adios. Bye, everyone. Bye.